What's going on, amazing Cursiveros fans? Today, I've got 18 tips for you. So let's get right into it. Tip number one. Tasks are a great way to level up, get extra gold, and obtain scrolls. Tip number two. Scrolls are worth 5k plus each, so if you need extra money, you can make a substantial amount from selling the scrolls you obtain from completing tasks. Tip number three. An alternative way to level and obtain a good amount of potions is by killing bats. If you are low level, you can kill normal bats. If you are mid level, you can kill cave bats. And if you are a high level, you can kill ancient bats. Tip number four. Don't overthink gear. Just buy the best equipment you can afford because it will cause you to save money on potions. And you will be able to resell that gear later for around the same price you bought it at, or more. So you don't take any losses from purchasing new gear as soon as you are able to equip it. Tip number five. Other players will sell you potions cheaper than the market price. Tip number six. All pets have the same stats. The only thing that causes them to do more damage is their level. Tip number seven. The game plays most smoothly on the official PC version, which you can access by becoming a Patreon subscriber. Link in the description. This is the way that I usually play, and after trying all the different ways to play the game, I recommend the official PC version over all other methods. Tip number eight. If you are playing on blue stacks, you will have a hard time typing. After you finish typing, you will lose control of your character. Close the chat window and click the toggle controls button on the right side of blue stacks twice. Then reopen the chat window. Now you have regained control over your character. Tip number nine. If playing on mobile, you can move the potions quick bar to the left hand side in the settings. This is the way that I play on mobile and I would definitely recommend it. Tip number 10. The use of any macros or software that automates anything is against the rules and will get you banned. Tip number 11. During PvP death you lose up to 5k gold, but if you need to enter the PvP area to do tasks, you can leave your gold in the storage to prevent gold loss on PvP death. Tip number 12. If your chat is buggy or it's difficult to type, disable your device's auto punctuation and auto spell check features, and restart your device. You might have to restart the game a few times, but this should resolve your issue. It worked for me on mobile. Tip number 13. You lose 1% experience when you die. This 1% doesn't seem like much, but when you're a high level, it's really a lot, so be careful. Tip number 14. The Curse of Arrows Discord has a trade channel that is very useful. Link in the description. Tip number 15. You can check out TCK's pricing sheet to get a rough estimate for the price of every item in the game. This pricing sheet is fairly outdated at this point, but the link is in the description anyway. Tip number 60. There is a game map and an ore map for miners. Links both in the description. Tip number 17. There is also now a Varaxis map. Link for that in the description as well. And finally, tip number 18. The best stat build is accuracy equals strength plus 20. I tested a dozen different builds by myself, and this is definitely the winner. 20 into accuracy, then an even distribution between strength and accuracy is going to give you the best results. I love you all. Be kind to your brothers and sisters of planet Earth. Be good, and I'll see you again real soon.